Hello there. Quick walk out in the country. Well, two hour one. It's raining at the moment, lightly. I'm expecting a heavy shower any minute because it's been coming heavy, light, heavy, light all day. I really want it to rain quite heavily in order to test this gear. This is a Harkala Pro Hunter jacket. And also Harkala Pro Hunter trousers. And I've also got 10 inch Kevlar fronted Harkala boots as well. I'll put the details to all these things in the video description. Starting to get heavy. Excellent. In this video, I'm going to go for quite a strenuous walk up and down hills, through woods, through dense foliage, through dirt and wet. Testing this gear. Hopefully I'll be able to keep good video quality. I will keep cleaning the lens, but it is starting to rain quite heavily now, which is excellent. Under here, I've got a base layer from Helicon, which is a thermal base layer. Thermal base layer under the trousers. And I've also got a light north face fleece on as well. So that's what I've got on underneath this gear. As far as socks go, I would normally wear um, seal skin, medium length, medium weight socks but for the purpose of this test I want to be able to instantly tell if the water is coming into the boots with waterproof socks I can't do that so I've got just ordinary hiking socks on in these boots and for those of you doubting whether it's actually wet it is wet. Have a look at that river behind me. It's in an absolute rage and flood. It's been raining for days. The ground's sodden. There's puddles everywhere. All the vegetation's wet. Perfect conditions for testing this gear. Now for this I'm testing not only the waterproof abilities of this gear but also the breathability as well. I'm expecting the sweat so I am expecting sweat to build up on the inside of it. Whether that reaches uncomfortable level or not will remain to be seen. Big old badger set which is flooded out full of water. That other hole's totally flooded out. It just shows you how much water there's been. Incredible. Filling up a badger set. <laughs> oh, a bugger. That's a fox set. They're not faring any better either. Absolutely full of water. Well, that area down there is where a little stream comes in. Or what normally is a little stream. To meet the river that was going to be my crossing point. Going down here. Uh, I do want to test the materials as best I can. But I think that's asking a bit much. I need waders to get over that. Still feel pretty dry, although I think there's some sweat building up on my back. Certainly building up on my head, it's running down my nose. I'm maybe making this test a little bit too strenuous. I've worn this stuff exactly the same way when I've been watching my son play football, standing still in bleach and rain and stayed perfectly dry. But I wasn't generating any sweat then. I think, uh, <laughs> I think it might be getting wet from the inside. One thing I have noticed about this material being active for this test is that it's very quiet. That's apparently one of the selling points. People have argued over whether it's quiet or not. It's not as quiet as like a brushed fabric, but it, it's very, very quiet compared to a lot of waterproof materials. Very quiet. Certainly quiet enough for rifle shooting where you've got to be very stealthy. So that's a good plus point. Right. About an hour into this test. And I'm starting to feel a little bit claggy. I think it's because of sweat. There's two little vent pockets, one on each side here behind your main hand pocket. 
So I've opened those up, see if that'll let a little bit moisture out and see if it makes it a wee bit more comfortable. Remember a little while back I opened up these vents. There you go, there's one there and there's one on the other side because I was feeling a little bit uncomfortable. I could feel the sweat starting to build up on my shoulders probably because I was so active in this gear and I'm wearing thermals underneath it. Well, half an hour later, when I haven't been any less active, it actually feels a lot more comfortable. I like outdoor gear that's nice and flexible because if it isn't flexible you run the risk of tearing it, getting it holed with barbed wire or generally knackering it through it not being flexible and not allowing your body to move where it wants to move. So far with what I've done today I haven't had any problems with this at all. Still absolutely pouring down. But with these little vents open, I'm actually feeling more comfortable than I was even 20 minutes ago. It's obviously allowing the air laden with moisture to get out. And the water's not getting in either because it's it's in underneath my arms. The water's kind of running off the outsides and away. So when the rain falls, it isn't getting in here. Got a phone in here, I've got wireless headphones in here. I've got gloves in this pocket and I've got a woolly hat in this pocket. I'm going to wait until the end of the test, get them all out and see if there's any moisture on any of them. Ideally I want them all to be bone dry. Sitting here in full rain, bleaching down and I couldn't care less. Nice and dry, warm, and comfortable inside of here. And I'm loving it. I haven't seen much in the way of wildlife, unfortunately. And I do like coming out when it's wet because normally you do see quite a lot of wildlife hiding in the depths of the woods. Today there's been absolutely nothing. But it's rained for the past week or so. I think everything's migrated south, possibly to North Africa. One thing I've noticed when this all gets very wet on the outside is that the hood tends to be very low. So you can't really see very far in front of you unless you've got a hat on. I did have a hat on earlier on and that bulked it up a little bit. It raised this and it allowed me to see much further out into the distance. I suppose if I had hair it would do the same as well. But unfortunately I haven't got any hair. But if I just turn that up on the outside, it allows me to stay clean through, still keeps me dry, and it stays there as well. It doesn't just flop back. Feels good. Feels very comfortable to walk in. And although it is, it, it might look bulky, and it certainly looks a little bit bulky on the viewfinder there, it doesn't feel bulky. It doesn't feel as, as if it's cumbersome when you're walking along, even when you're going up and down hills across the sides of hills, uh, climbing over things, it certainly doesn't feel bulky. If you are worried about it looking a bit bulky and possibly being built for bigger frames, like me, there is a Pro Hunter X version. That's a newer version of this gear and it's got a slightly tighter cut. In fact, it, it looks a lot tighter. It's all, the trousers are almost like a, a dress trouser. There's a good friend of mine got the Pro Hunter X trousers and he's quite skinny. Or should I say, he's in shape and I'm not. I looked at the trousers that he had on and I thought, my thighs are far too big to get into there. And my backside certainly isn't size zero. So 
I'm glad I just went for the ordinary pro hunters. Same with this as well because I have quite a square, I have quite a round frame. This is a, for a 42 inch chest and it fits very, very well. I've also got the, oh, I've also got a Harkala, oh, I'm going to get the name wrong, and a, and a bowler windstopper jersey which is a, like a wool jumper with a, a, like a Gore-Tex membrane in between, between two layers of wool, extremely warm. I knew that that would be far too warm for this test, so I didn't put it on. That's why I just went with a light fleece. But that is an excellent piece of kit as well. Right. <laughs> if anybody sees me here, they're gonna think I'm absolutely nuts sitting in the rain, <laughs> on the face of it, looking soaking wet, talking to a camera in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to go home, get this kit off, and we'll see how well it's kept the water out. And in the case of the top, also how well it's shed the perspiration that I've built up in the first half hour or so. Start with the jacket. There is a bit of condensation in there. It's not sopping wet, but it is moist. Certainly wasn't uncomfortable and I actually thought it was drying out after the first hour and a half or so when I was pretty active and generating quite a lot of sweat. Arms are dry. I don't know whether you can see any moisture on there. No, I can't see any. It looks dry. Get down to the base layer. feels dry. Although the inside of the, the coat felt a little bit moist, that feels dry. Yeah, that feels as if it's generated a little bit of sweat, but it's not too bad. I still smell fresh as well. It's all good. Yeah, absolutely bone dry. They never felt uncomfortable at all during that test. And that's really, really dry. Moving on to the socks. Bone dry. If a little bit foisty, but very, very dry. And they're not waterproof socks, nothing special. Just cheap, woolly hiking socks. Excellent. There was a little bit of moisture generated from me, but the gear didn't let me down. And with those little vents open, I don't know whether it was just my imagination, but I do feel as if that actually let quite a lot of the moisture out. If I'd had those open before I set off, there might not have been as much sweat and moisture ridden air built up inside the coat. That might have prevented that. Certainly felt a lot more comfortable with those vents open. Oh, I haven't checked my gear yet. Uh, I've got a phone in this one. Which is dry. Wireless headphones in this one. They do show a little bit of moisture on them. Yet the inside of the pocket feels dry. It's very near the vent. Possibly a little bit of moisture getting through from the where the vent is into the pocket. Certainly not enough moisture in there to do them any harm. My gloves. Bone dry. Definitely. Inside of the pocket dry. My hat. That's a woolly hat. Bone dry. Get it in there. Just take a very, very quick look at the boots. I'm not going to go over all the design features of these things because you can find that elsewhere. This is purely just a performance test and they're still totally dry inside there. And if you've watched this all the way through, you'll have seen me step in water and dirt way over the height of them 
Obviously, I had the trousers over the top, and I wasn't wearing gaiters. If I was wearing gaiters, they would be even more protected. But even as it is, water splashing over the top of where these were underneath my trousers, it hasn't got in, certainly hasn't got underneath the trousers. But the bottom of the trousers do fit very, very tight around the bottom of here. So the Harkala Pro Hunter gear, overall very, very good. Well constructed, it fits me very well. My shape being, I would say, pretty much average. Um, approximately five foot eight, five foot nine in height. More or less average build, possibly heavy set. And I think that equates to about 160 to 165 centimeters in metric. If you feel like splashing out and want some very, very good outdoor gear, I would recommend this. It is not cheap. If you check out the prices, you'll see it is not cheap, but it is very, very good. Not really suited for very active outdoor pursuits. I mean, on that walk, I was, uh, wasn't was pushing it. It's not a, I wasn't exactly jogging around, but I was going quite fast. Certainly, if I was creeping around with a rifle, I wouldn't have had the problems with the perspiration. Uh, if I was sitting pigeon shooting, sitting waiting for birds to come in, wouldn't be a problem at all. I'd be bone dry, lovely and warm, protected from the wind, and comfortable. Being comfortable is the main thing. As I mentioned before, when I go and watch my son play football, quite often it's up on the hilltop of a concert, if anybody knows that. It's about a thousand feet above sea level. Northeast England, known as the roof of the world. I'm sure it's twinned with Chicago because it pretty much is the windy city. And quite often the weather's coming sideways. When I've been wearing this gear, standing watching them play football, I'm fairly sure that I'm the only one up there who stays 100% dry. Excellent gear. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.